the Lord has prepared Iran for transformation. And we are thankful that God is bringing other people to join us in this great harvest. Today, we had the honor of having June Hunt with us and sharing a message, a life-changing message. Mm -hmm. June, I'm so glad you were here to serve Iran and Iranians and Muslims with us. There is a, a world of need, a world wanting answers. Yes. Now, when you have people questioning, how can I have purpose in my life? Uh, what do I do with this anger I feel? Uh, what about this injustice? And I can't forgive yes. what was done to me. People want true answers. Yes. They want biblical hope and practical help. Yes. Well, some people don't know they need biblical hope, but they're wanting something that actually works. And I believe that this is why it's a wonderful golden opportunity for exactly. your ministry to have truth penetrating people's hearts and getting literally changing their minds because Romans 12 2 says that we are transformed by the renewing of the mind yes. and so we've got to help people line up their thinking with what God has said. Exactly. Exactly. And you talk about hope. If I want to uh, summarize the situation in Iran right now, if I had to choose just one word, I would say hopelessness. There is so much hopelessness in Iran. Iran is number one uh, drug addiction per capita in the world. The suicide on top. So they are searching number one for hope. And I'm so glad your ministry, Hope for the Heart, I think that's what cuts through the, you know, the thick walls of Islam and sets those captive Muslims free. And I'm so glad you're here. Well, we have yeah. to realize what God has said. Yeah. He says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm, yeah. harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Now, that's what you're doing. When you look at Iran Alive, it was here that I saw a book this is about a month ago, I saw a book that listed all of the countries that were having people that had, we reported literally people coming to Christ. What is the largest number of all the countries of people having changed lives through Christ? It was Iran. Yes, number one. <laughs> yes, number one. Yeah. Well, so you're making huge impact because when you realize that there is starvation, if you go to a place and they're starving physically, they don't have food, and you walk in and you give them grain, you give them protein and vitamins, and all of a sudden they begin to get healthy. Well, the reason it's so extraordinary to those people who will never forget it is because they were starving. Well, people are dying of spiritual malnutrition. And sometimes that translates into what you just said, suicide. If they have lost hope for their lives, hope for their hearts, they can so easily give up on life and commit suicide. But this is why your ministry, why I ran alive and how we can partner together and do programs together and we have material in Farsi. You do whole programs, huge, phenomenal programs in Farsi, and it's changing lives. Amen. But it's because there is such a huge need. There are people who are starved, and they need the help and hope that you offer. When we say, okay, Iran has more people coming to Christ than any other country, it, the figure I saw, it wasn't just a little bit. It was <laughs> extraordinary. Yes. Do you remember what that figure 19. was? 19.6% per year growth. Now, you just, yeah. 19, that, basically, okay, you're saying one fifth, you know, uh, that's, that's right. incredible. And so as you have faithful supporters that care about this ministry, that they want to be a part of what you're doing, well, what you're doing is making a, an extraordinary difference because the next country below 
was Afghanistan, and it was quite a bit lower, and then everything else was Even Afghanistan, bit. Farsi speaking. We are, well, we are yes. influencing Afghanistan also. And I didn't yeah. know that until yeah. I was yeah. with you yeah. several, yeah. I was here at your offices, <laughs> yeah. and I was stunned. So the two most significant countries for God's blessing, watching God bless, that's who you're reaching. Exactly. So you have the anointing of God, and. I, I can say this because I'm not a part of their staff. Right. I can say support this tremendous ministry and you're going to see results. You'll see lives changed and there's nothing more special than a life we change appreciate for that. Christ. Coming from you, June, that means a lot and uh, pray for us and we, we can't do it alone. We pray for partners, join and we pray that you with great material, great experience in transforming lives join us to transform a nation. Not just one life, but a nation. And that's the opportunity before us. We can't do it alone. We want to ask you, invite you and others to join us. This is a historical moment to impact a nation with the gospel. I pray that the Lord will speak to your heart that if, according to His will, the people He chooses, not us, but he has to choose. He has to speak to your heart. But when you hear him, come, let us join together and make history. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jerry.